is we open the Surface Tools toolbar. Right in there, we're going to find the symmetry option. It's also found in the Surface Tools tab right here, symmetry. So let's go to File, Open. Now browse to your uh, Bissell Tips directory and in the folder called All 3DN Files, you're going to find 1107 symmetry. And we're going to open that up. And as you can see, it's a two rails and a, and a profile kind of outlining the shape of the body of a bottle nose uh, dolphin. So let's create the surface for this. So let's go to our surface area over here. And we're going to use sweep two rails. I'm going to choose the first rail, the second rail. And now, uh, making sure that I have the end point active, I'm going to click point in the command line, map to the point at the beginning, then choose the cross section, then click point again in the command line, and choose the end point at the tail. And we should now see a surface similar to this one right on the screen. Now I'm going to use the rebuild option let me preview here. Yeah, something like that. Maybe, maybe a little bit more. Let's go with 16 points. That's a little bit better because I'm going to be doing some point editing. So we want to know, we want to have enough points to work with. So that looks good for what I want to do. So we can click OK now. And there is our surface. And at this point, I don't want the curves. So going back to my standard tools here, my tab, I'll go to Select Curves. And I'm going to delete them. And there's my simple single surface. And what I want to do is I want to edit this section. And I want Rhino to automatically apply any changes I do to the opposite section over here. So I'm going to select this part, go to the Surface Tools, and use the Symmetry option. It's going to ask me to select an edge. I'm going to pick this edge. And then I'm going to mirror from the point at the beginning straight back. So use Ortho. In this case, I'm using the shift key. And there we have the full body of the dolphin. This portion was created is the symmetry part, and this is the original. So I'm going to show the control points on the original. And right now, anything I do here will reflect on the other. So let's go ahead and edit the fins into place. So the dolphin, its dorsal fin is somewhere up here. So we'll go ahead and pull this guy up and begin to form that fin, pull it back. And as you can see, anything I'm doing on this side reflects on this side. Uh, a little bit too high. There we go. And now we can continue shaping this into whatever we think the fin should look like. something like that. Then I can come maybe right around here and get these three or four, doesn't matter. I'm going to use those three, pull those out this way. And notice that it comes out on the other side as well. So if I bring this down, that one goes down as well. So it makes it real easy to start editing and changing this and have the symmetry apply all our changes to the rest of the project. I'm going to choose here for to make the tail. 
So we can choose these guys right there and pull those out. And continue with the same process. Start forming. what the tail is going to look like. So it's just a matter of pushing and pulling these points until you know you have what your whatever you want the the tail. Notice that whatever you do here happens to the other side. So it's very simple. And as you can see, you can very quickly and easily create uh, a symmetrical object by just editing one side and the other side automatically adjusts.